All right, hello, citizens of the Nigerverse. It is not here once again, and this is going to be another wrestling review. So, we are continuing. Uh, well, first of all, all I got, uh, if you I can't tell, it, even though it's not in the sh shot, you can probably see it. Uh, I got a new RGB lamp, so I'm going to try that out, see uh, if that lighting works. So, let me know if you guys are into the lighting. So, you're going to see uh, my face and uh, torso. It'll change into a multitude of colors, but uh, let me know if you guys dig it, if you want me to go back to the other lamp. Uh, and uh, only because I felt like the other lamp, the light was a little too harsh, so um, I figured I would get the RGB lamp and keep, the, and I'm still gonna keep the other lamp while I'm like editing and stuff, but uh, the, the RGB lamp will be uh, for recording. So let me know if you guys dig it. Uh, let me know if it's uh, too bright, if it's not bright enough. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, but of course we are continuing our, her, uh, Reviews of WrestleMania matches for the month of March, or just that uh, build up to WrestleMania season, aka my absolute favorite time of the year, and um, and one man who is synonymous, of course, with WrestleMania is none other than the Phenom, the Dead Man, the Undertaker. Uh, so, well, of course, he's gonna be a he, uh, and just. Kind of to give you guys a heads up, uh, of, uh, of as we do our annual WrestleMania reviews, he's gonna be a part of it pretty much until we wrap up the streak and even uh, some of the other matches afterwards. But uh, the streak was a major part of WrestleMania, and in a way, in a way, still kind of is because it's still talked about so much, and it's a streak that's never gonna be duplicated. But um, but last year, or we saw the two attempts from Shawn Michaels, who tried and failed to break the streak. He, uh, so uh, will the game Triple H be able to uh, to avenge his uh, tag team partner and him breaking the streak? Let's find out. I'm of course talking about the Undertaker versus Triple H, no holds barred at WrestleMania 27. And just kind of a, just kind of a little spoiler, of course, or uh, that means that Friday because we're doing our WrestleMania reviews Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, so Friday is going. We're going to look at their match at WrestleMania 28. But uh, as always, I am not professional, not professional wrestling reviewer analyst or anything like that. Just a man who enjoys a good time, and I had a fantastic time watching this match. Literally the only good match uh, at uh, WrestleMania 27. WrestleMania 27 was uh, not great, uh, hey, not in the slightest, not not even good, unfortunately. But this was the lone saving grace for the entire show. Oh, uh, oh, uh, a match that a lot of people felt like should have been the main event, uh, but it wasn't. It uh, it wasn't, but it did blow the main event out of the water. But, but, uh, but what went down during the match? Let's find out. So, if you've seen these reviews of before, you kind of know how this works. If you haven't, let me tell me what I like and dislike about the match. So, starting with what I liked, the Undertaker and Triple H brought it to each other hard. Like, like this definitely felt like a fight hey uh hey uh some people go back and forth as to uh which it's undertaker or versus dx uh wrestlemania uh, uh matches were or, uh better or slash more iconic uh either the ones with Shawn michaels or the ones with triple h h uh normally people say Shawn michaels which those matches are hard to top but you do get quite a few who fans of the Undertaker Triple H matches because both of them are her fantastic. It, uh, starting with this one, and of course, there's um, and of course, uh, we're going to compare and contrast to see if it's better or not as good as the, her match at WrestleMania 28. But uh, as for this match, these two definitely uh, battle each other, going almost all around on the uh, ring hang, uh, to. The uh, ringside area, uh, uh, even taking out the coal mine in the process. You know the the little box that Michael, that heel Michael Cole had when he did commentary. They even took that out, which already made this match of the night. Might even make it match of the century based off of that. But uh, yeah, so oh, just absolutely, just that big fight feel. Well, uh, well yeah, it's not always a pretty match. At sometimes, like you want a pretty match or a technical masterpiece. He's with a lot of technical technical wizardry, like holds, grapple holds, and stuff like that, sometimes you just want a full-on fight, and they definitely gave it that fight feel, uh, oh, um, 
he'll uh oh uh the fight feel happen uh between triple h and the undertaker or uh or they definitely had that big fight feel well uh to a point where he even and gave us not only one but two of the all-time like oh hey uh streak possibly ending slash continuing uh in uh, moments of course undertaker would go on to win the match but uh but undertaker nailing triple h with a tombstone on um uh, Owned by Triple H kicking out. Oh, that oh that one was still pretty big, but not as big as the other one. Where Triple H, each after having delivered three pedigrees and Undertaker kicking out of all three of them, uh, delivering a tombstone of his own on uh on uh going for, and going for the three, but Undertaker uh powering out, and you could literally see. Well, first of all, when Triple H goes for the tombstone, like the crowd lights up because they because they know he he's going for it, like they. It get electric for it and everything, and so they know Triple H about to nail Undertaker with the Tombstone his own move. It very rarely, um, it, it's happened, but very rarely have matches ended uh, with um, <clears throat> by I, someone beating an being their opponent with their own move. Uh, but uh, here it was pretty close. Like the crowd, the crowd thought it was over. Like the one, the two, and then the kick out. Uh, like the the uh, just like shock of the crowd that that wasn't it. It like. <clears throat> like in hindsight you might be like oh of course it wasn't it you know that you, you rarely get beat with your own move and i'm sure Undertaker knows how to kick out of his own move but at the same time when that hit the crowd reaction the crowd oh just the crowd just lost it and, and uh, undertaker ultimately putting triple h away with the hell's gate and the last moments like that tenseness uh in the in the last moments of the match where undertaker her uh where triple h has the sledgehammer he brings the sledgehammer and he's about to nail undertaker with it it uh and of course another emotional moment where triple h is telling undertaker stay down but undertaker's not staying down on uh he's getting up he wants to fight but uh, the last few moments where triple h has the sledgehammer but undertaker locks in the hell's gate submission which um which he but husted out from time to time. I think the only other uh, person he's beaten at WrestleMania with the Hell's Gate is Edge, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, but heck, it had WrestleMania 24. But uh, which Edge I reviewed WrestleMania 24, so if you haven't already, go check out that review. But uh, uh, Triple H with the sledgehammer or going to nail and check your Undertaker's got it locked in. Triple H scrambling and uh, trying to reach around for the sledgehammer. He grabs the sledgehammer but can't. But he doesn't have the strength to nail Undertaker. Taker with it, he drops it before ultimately tapping, and, and just it's that moment afterwards with both men just lying in the ring, uh, and uh, neither man really getting up. Triple H being the first to rise to his feet, but Taker having to be helped uh, to the back and everything, but still uh, retaining a streak, still oh, having the 19-0 streak. It was 19-0 at this uh, time, but uh, well, technically it was 18-0 going into the match, and then upon undertaker winning that's when it became 19-0 but yeah just a phenomenal match and a match that absolutely should have been the main event like like the fact that this wasn't the main event but the miz and john cena was the joke pretty much writes itself unfortunately he because in a lot of ways wrestlemania 27 kind of was a joke oh uh okay not a funny one uh but uh, yeah but uh, otherwise this was just a absolute shining beacon on an otherwise abysmal show oh if i had to find something to nitpick uh it, uh, in, in this match, there were a couple moments where the referee had to kind of pull because the other person wanted to kick out in time, so the referee kind of a little slow. Oh, uh, oh, to make sure her uh, the, that the other person kicks out, which does kind of take you out of it, but that is just a minuscule nitpick in the grand scheme of things. Still a fantastic match. Go check out this match, at, and then go check out the oh, Undertaker and Triple H's match at uh, WrestleMania 28, which we will also review, and we will review that next time here on the channel. But nevertheless, that has going to do it for this uh, review. Thank you all so much for watching. hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and turn on post notifications so you know every time I upload a video so you can see as soon as it drops. And let me know in the comments what your thoughts on, well, uh, your thoughts on the lighting, but also uh, the match, my review of the match. Do you agree or disagree? Do you like, like the match? Let me know. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.